So today I'm gonna to show you how stock slices on Charles Schwab work, or also very widely known as fractional shares. So we are here on the main page of our Charles Schwab account. As you can see, we currently have $25 in our portfolio so we can utilize for any trades that we wanna do. Now, fractional shares, or as Charles Schwab calls them, the actual stock slices, this allows us to buy things in fractional pieces, which is really, really cool. So here under the trade tab, you're gonna see a plethora of different options. And we're gonna click over here where it says Charles, or where it actually says Schwab stock slices. So we're gonna click on here. And it's going to take us to this area and it gives you a little tour if you're not familiar with the process so you can go ahead and do that we're going to close this off here today so what this is going to do is show us all the different companies that we can buy into at fractional pieces which is really cool effectively means that you can buy really expensive stocks at fractional pieces with the dollar amounts you currently have available so what we're going to do is look for a very popular company something such as like tesla for example because of course tesla is fairly expensive for most people so if we type in tesla uh, we can see here that that one unfortunately will not be available for us to be able to buy. So we have to then reconsider, okay, if we can't buy Tesla, what are other stocks we can buy? Again, you could either go through the process of searching for all of them here, or you can type them in manually to see if they're available for you. Now, since Tesla is not available for you, we're going to go ahead and use the example with Apple. A lot of people know Apple. They currently have a share price of $116.59. So if we click on the symbol right over here for Apple, it's going to bring up this little uh, chart here and then we can go ahead and say, okay, you know what? We're going to go ahead and buy Apple. Things are looking good. We did our research for it. We have the box checked right over here. And then if we scroll down, we'll see an option that says continue. We're going to go ahead and click on here. So from here, it does tell us that the minimum amount to buy anything is going to be $5. So you have to make sure you got five bucks in the bank so we can do that. As this example, we're just going to buy it with that $5. You can put however much you have in your account available. I do recommend having money transferred in to be able to do this a little easier. And it says trade uh, account for trade. We're going to click on here and it's going to be our individual account we already have on file. And it does tell us how much we have available to trade. Keep in mind, if you have regular trades going on, it won't show anything pending. So just keep you know a mathematical thing in your head of how much you might have already going on in other areas. So with this example, because we are doing the $5, it does also give us the option to reinvest dividends. So if a company like Apple pays out these dividends, you can have that money siphoned right back into that company to buy more shares. And the nice thing is the dividends, no matter the cost that actually comes out of them, it will buy back into Apple at those fractional pieces, even if it's under five bucks. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And it's going to give us the option here to review your selection. So if we click on here, it's going to show us, you know, the five dollars, the number, uh, the number of orders going through this whole process. And right over here, make sure you read through all this. We're going to click on over here and we're going to just kind of scroll down here to kind of see the rest of the order that we have going on. But here we're going to see where it says place orders and we're going to go ahead and click on here. And it's going to take us to this next place here where it says summary of your order. So this has gone through. It does give you a confirmation number and you will be good to go. You could either place another order or go back into your main page of Charles Suave. Now I want you to keep on learning how to utilize Charles Suave. So check out my next video right over here to do just that. My name is Dennis, and I will see you in that next video.